and Noah's still asleep. Let me see. <laughs> you know the drill. I gotta make sure I don't got nothing in my eyes. And when I'm editing this, I'll probably see stuff, but it's all good. Um, good morning. This is what your wake has to see every morning, like. Be thankful that you don't have to wake up to this. I survive, cause I got sweet victory. Nobody can take it from me. Sweet victory. Today is the 19th. I'm like, I drew a blank. So we literally have one more week until we all get back into the swing of school. Um, and so today. I'm going to be literally working on um, getting everything organized and set up. Um, so hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, I don't even know if this is good lighting or whatnot, but if not, forgive me. Um, but hopefully you all are doing well. I have a lot of stuff to do and I'm a big time procrast procrastinator. Did you hear that? Procrastinator. Procrastinator. Um, I mean, I made my coffee and I still haven't really drunk anything. Haven't drank it, haven't drunk it. I always say haven't drunk it. Is it drank? Haven't drank it. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get out of, um, using poor vocabulary. So I'm learning new words and how to use those words in sentences. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to get better at, um, my vocabulary and just my communication skills in general. I say things like, oh, use, don't know, use. Who says use? I say use. <laughs> oh, you know, because use don't know is like, oh my goodness, get it together. So I'm trying to focus on that. Um, and Lord willing, the improvements in my speech and my vocabulary would will be accept you know not accepted who, who who cares if they're accepted but you know a lot of times if you see someone and then they're speaking in a uh like they're trying to focus on their vocabulary it's like oh why are you not why are you talking like that <laughs> uh anyway i apologize if i have anything in my eyes or in my face usually i don't see it until i'm editing and i'm like really d uh, but anyway so yeah yesterday i was on marco polo literally all day long i wasted my whole day well no you know what no i didn't waste my whole day so mm -mm. i spent the whole day on marco polo yesterday speaking to um or catching up with one of my sisters that i hadn't seen or spoken to in quite some time it was nice catching up um but because i was on marco polo most of the day yesterday i didn't really get anything accomplished i cleaned up and organized as far as you know separating the boys um school assignments and things like that but other than that i didn't really get much done yesterday as far as this is concerned school and planning and all that teacher planning um so yeah i feel a little behind i feel like this year i want to get so much accomplished but knowing that i want to get so much accomplished i overwhelm myself because i'll set myself goals and i'll beat myself up if i don't meet those goals so i'm like oh my goodness um, so this whole, you know, homeschooling and being a teacher for your kids, it's it's definitely an adjustment. And I think that as the years continue, it'll get easier. Um, but only doing it for one year, even though I'm so proud of my boys and their accomplishments, both of my boys are doing so well. And I don't say that because they're my sons. It, and any, I mean, they, they can tell you. <laughs> If they're not doing well, they they'll know about it. You know, if they're being lazy or you know they're not giving giving us you know um, honest answers, you know things like that. I'll call them out on it. But for the most part, they did really well. Um, my son Jonah is making all A's, which is a first in history in his academic history. <laughs> Um, and so we're just so proud of him. This, this program that we're doing, the Accelerated Christian Program, Education, Accelerated Christian Education Program, has been a, a tremendous blessing to our family. So no complaints there. It's really just organizing and making sure that we're on a set routine or like a, a set schedule and having the boys on a routine and getting them used to it. So for instance, today, my husband woke my two oldest ones up at 6.30 in the morning and they went to the base and they're going fishing. 
Um, and so, you know, they started their day early and I'm not an early riser, although I have been praying that the Lord would change that for me and that I would become an early riser. But it's usually because I have struggles sleeping at night. So by the time I go to sleep, like for instance, yesterday I went to bed at two in the morning. It's 740, you know, so I didn't really get much sleep. But when my family left this morning, I was just thinking, like I was just laying in the bed, like, you know what? It's time to get up, you know, pray, make my coffee, which I did. Um, I'm actually going to listen to the word as I start to accomplish and get things done. This is the current situation I have going on here. <laughs> Literally. I'm watching a video as I organize and get ready for school. So over here I have like schedules and just kind of, oof, you could tell while I was sitting on that end, this couch was like, help me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the current situation here. So I just took out Jonah's uh, score keys and I put them in here. So he has four score keys, um, which have all of the answers to the tests that he's gonna have. So let me just lift up the camera so you can see. Right, so these are his score keys and I have the in this yellow folder because math is yellow. So all score keys are here. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through each of his pace books and I'm gonna take the test out that's in the middle. Uh, where's his test? Actually, I can't see where it is. Hold on, let me see. It's usually in the middle. Right here. So this is his test. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in a second to pull it out. Um, it's on page 25. Um, but this is what math is looking like for him. So there are some that he has to write out problems. Some of the problems, you know, he has up here. Um... And in math, he was um, behind in a level. So he's trying to catch up and get to where he needs to be. And of so. course, in, in the beginning of every one of the paces, so especially with math, um, he has his scripture verse. So in every class, he has a scripture verse that he needs to learn. And then as he goes throughout, um, he has to, uh, let's see, where does he put it? Right here. He'll have to complete it. So by day six, he should have it by heart already, his his scripture verse from the front. And these are his goals um, for this math book. So this math book is 51 pages, and when he's complete, his supervisor will initial it, Joey, um, who supervises his work, and he has to complete all of this. And then at the ending of this entire pace book, he'll have his test. And then he has to complete his test and score a good grade on it. If, if he scores under a 90, we usually have him go back and, you know, uh, see, you know, where he went wrong in his problems. Um, so that's just how we do it. And then once he scores above a 90, we allow him to move on to the next So week. we actually graded his work from last year. Um, I'll show it to you right here. Um... to be more organized but it's cool so this is this is like how we did it so uh ccs so coursework coursework and then um special studies is for review and testing so curriculum studies or coursework for two weeks so each pace book should take jonah two weeks to complete and he'll have cards with goals on them. And these are the cold cards. So last year, he would have to do pages one through four on Monday, then Tuesday, five through eight, so on and so forth, um, until he completed those books. Um, and so it would take him two weeks, week one, week two, to complete that pace book. And then in week three is review and testing. Um, and then for his progress report, we were documenting his progress we didn't put in the fourth quarter because we got lazy, <laughs> but we did um, average everything out at the end. Um, I didn't even sign it because it was like, yeah. 
Um, and then these are things he needs to work on, needs improvement. There's a lot of needs improvement on there. <laughs> but that's okay because we're doing this the right way. If he needs improvement in something, he needs to work on it. Um, and then his final uh, master sheet cards are here. Oh. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is like his final master sheet. I'll fix that in a second. I have this in here like this. Uh, but I'll do that in a second. My cat is like, hi. So anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and show you real quick. Um, I'll put this down. Hopefully I get a good angle. So you just open your pace book. It was about 25. Here is the test. The test is always going to be in the middle of the book. So you just pull the test out. Then you set the pace aside, and he'll put his name, the date that it's issued, and so on and so forth. And then you'll put the test in, in this folder. And when he's ready to take the test, he'll uh, we'll pull it out, we'll give him the test. And then when he's done with the test, we'll have the score key to check his work. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what we're going to do with every book. And go to the middle, pull out the test. Put it mm -hmm. and that's what I'm gonna do with all of these okay so what I'm doing here is um, I'm getting ready by placing all of the tests and score keys for the first uh, month going back into school so I separated we have math biblical studies English social studies science and word building and then next semester, um, down here will be literature. Um, he's gonna swap out social studies for literature. He does social studies the first and second quarters, and then the last two quarters he's gonna do um, literature, which are the books over there that he has to read. And so here we have score keys, um, his test. So this is gonna be his first test going back into the school year. I'm gonna pull this out real quick. Um, so he'll just put his name on the test, the date that the test is issued, and then his test score. Um, and these are what, you know, just kind of a preview of what his first test will look like. He has some stuff on the back. And then his memory verse, he'll have to know John 16.33, and then the supervisor's initial. And then, of course, we'll have the score keys that will be able to tell us um, you know, whatever. So what I like to do is this year I'll be putting this little, um, what is this? It's cool. It's, it's a folding. It, it folds up like a file cabinet like this. And then it also sits like this. So if you want to hang it, you can. And then I'm going to put his test and his score keys here so that all he has to do is grab his test and the score keys will be inside, so I'll show you. So I'll go ahead and put score So all of the classes are in for the first and second quarters, first semester. And then over here in this, um, I buy these from Target and they are this brand right here, Sterlite. Um, Sterlite and I separate everything by color so that when the kids need their paces, all I have to do is come in here, grab whatever paste they need and then the test, everything is gonna be already color coordinated. And then I'll be able to keep this ready so that when they're ready to start their first tests, everything is already organized in here. Test and score keys. And then I keep everything together. And that's pretty much how I store it all. And it's very helpful. And hopefully this will help someone who's doing the PACE program as well.